day. We uh, should have started filming earlier, but I was working. I got caught up in the moment. So we're just prepping this big, this is a really big built-in, built-in entertainment center. And this really big, nice mansion here. And right on the lake, beautiful house. So we're gonna paint this mantle and this. They don't like the wood, they want it to go the same color as the trim. So what we're doing first is, uh, right now we're taping out the insides, so we're protecting the inside of the cabinets. We're not painting the insides where the doors are. We took the doors and the shelves out. And there was these uh, or ornamental appliques that they had here that they didn't like. They wanted to take those down. This is what they look like. So we're taking these down. We're going to have to putty the holes here. And run an orbital, make sure it's nice and smooth. And uh, we have to tape off the walls. I'm gonna put plastic against the walls. We already have plastic down on the floor. I'm gonna do some more plastic you know, to protect the area. And then I'm gonna break out the um, high, uh, high volume, low pressure sprayer. I'm gonna try spraying this with a coat of um, bonding primer let that dry up and then tomorrow two to three coats of finish on here a semi-gloss latex the same color as the trim and it should look awful pretty and uh, we'll keep you updated as we go Brian got this all prepped up for us we got all the doors openings masked off we got all the walls masked off and uh, we got this unit here which is our High volume, low pressure sprayer, and it's just a turbine that pushes hot air through this. Picks it up into this canister here. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> and it goes through this gun here. You got to thin this stuff down pretty good to get a good spray. So this is just the first coat, which is a primer coat. So we'll get started. Yeah, it's a good thing about this is well, a really low overspray. It's kind of a splatter. Kind of though, but it, it does. Yeah. It will go anyways. Well, it's good we have enough plastic off. And then when it's not, if you're not pulling the trigger, hot air comes out. This way you can set it so it doesn't, if it's, you think it's a little heavy, like up there, I can go through and just hit it with the hot air. So there's a, a first coat of primer on the whole thing here. Ryan's now going to brush and roll this one just because it's too intricate to try to spray. The tape's not going to want to stick to that brick too well, and then you'll get uh, seepage, or they call it wicking, where it will pull behind the tape and get under the stone. Let's do that by hand. So it's not pretty the first coat. This is just a bonding primer. And you don't want to try to put it on too heavy. The real magic happens is when we start putting the finished coat. So tomorrow we'll show up, this will be all dry, we can sand it, caulk all the big seams, and apply a couple coats of finish. The next day, um, so I primed the back sides of these uh, doors and shelves yesterday, and today I'm going to put another coat of primer on the other side, and we're going to let these dry. If we're lucky, we might be able to flip these over and start putting a finish coat on there. But you have to be really careful because the paint is going to want to stick. So if I flip it over and it's not dry enough, it'll stick to the, to the supports. So we're going to do this right now. So the trick with this spray gun is you have to 
I'm going to go through and strain this. Even though this is clean paint, I just really want to make sure that there's no, no little gloobs or globs um, in there that will plug up the gun. And then we'll have to water this down because it's got to be a certain viscosity. Um, otherwise, it'll uh, spray funny. So we'll do that. And so you just pour the paint through the strainer. And then pick it up. Let's go through it all. So as you can see here, this paint is pretty thin. I want to make it a little bit thinner. It's a fine line. Well, this is almost right. I'm just going to add a little bit more water to this. Brian was in here sanding, he sanded this all down, and then he went through and he caulked, caulked the seams, because this was stained before. So everywhere the two pieces of wood met, there was a little seam, so caulk that all in. It's nice and tight. And um, sanded, so I'm just going to wipe this down, mix up the, the finish color, and start applying the first coat of finish paint on here. So we got the doors flipped over. <clears throat> we got one coat on the face and we put two coats on the back. We have to let this dry overnight. And then I'll flip them tomorrow and put uh, one finished coat on the doors on the other side of these. I'll let these dry actually over the weekend because it'll be Friday. And the longer you let this dry, the harder it gets. So I don't even really want to hang these, and I told them not to put anything on the shelves or put anything back together until, you know, two or three days. Really want to let this harden up, but actually the, the recommended curing time is 21 days until it's completely cured. But I find, you know, three or four days, two, two, three days, I guess, is good enough. You don't want to put anything too heavy on the shelves because it will want to stick to the paint. It's got to, all the water's got to evaporate. So let's go look in the finished product on the inside. Yeah. Brian's just doing some what we call fine tuning. Just little touch ups here and there. But this here, she put new handles on, or we did for her. And uh, that's how it looks there. And the doors will go on as soon as it's all dry. Like I said, probably. Monday after the weekend we'll let everything dry up and so we went from wood to uh to a finished coat just like that. And over here the mantle which was stained wood before. Now it's got uh one coat of primer and three coats of finished coat. So let that dry up and that should be nice and durable and pretty. She added one more thing, let me show you this. Uh, a powder room. Look at these doors. The eight foot doors. Beautiful place. This is a hand painted mural in this bathroom. And she does not like the pheasant scene. This was here when she bought the house. Looks like it's wallpaper, but this is all done by hand. So someone did a really good job. He's inside it at the bottom here. But she wants it to go bye bye. So I wouldn't have painted this today, paint over it. It's a shame, but it's not her style. 